James, one of your spirit friends, channeled to you a statement about emotions that they never can kill you. It's the resistance of emotions that kill you. So how many of you have felt like you're dying when you're feeling an emotion? How many of you felt like that? Quite a lot, I reckon. And, and that's a good sign, actually, that you're actually connecting with some true causal emotion. The key is to remember that you're not going to die from feeling it. You're going to die from denying it. So, so a lot of people worry, oh, I've got so much sadness and they're crying, they're crying, I'm going to have a heart attack now, right? Because it feels so gut, you know, heartfelt, terrible grief. In reality, it's relieving you from the potentiality of a heart attack. That's really what's going on. Tris? Thanks, mate. Do all people have the same intensity of emotions, AJ? Um, no. Because uh, everyone has different levels of sensitivity in the soul. Everyone, all, remember, all of us are different, right? So all of us have different levels of sensitivity. Also, as you grow in love, your sensitivity increases. So this was what you'll find happen in your processing too. That as you grow in love, your soul is growing in its capacity to experience emotion more sensitively. So you'll actually sometimes feel like, you know, the emotion you're processing today was much more intense than the emotion you processed a year ago. And that's a good sign, actually, that your soul's becoming more sensitive. Not the other way around. Uh, again, we have often judgment about that. 